WWE Payback is 19 days away. And before we go into that, I just want to say, first of all, actually going to WrestleMania, going to the Hall of Fame, going to the Raw at the WrestleMania. Uh, didn't get to go to NXT, but uh, but the but the whole week in general is something to experience for those who have never done it, for those who have never gone to a WrestleMania, for those who have never gone to a Raw at the WrestleMania, especially a Raw at the WrestleMania. I mean, they were chanting for a fucking beach ball. <laughs> They were chanting for a beach ball. I mean, that's how crazy it is. Uh, but at times, but uh, it was interesting, to say the least. And uh, for example, Shane McMahon that got to uh, run Raw last week and uh, last night, actually, as well. Uh, just because Vince wanted to see what it would be like for Shane to uh, to run Raw, it looks like. Or just didn't want to be outdone. Uh, by Shane leaving. Of course, Shane taking the giant leap off of a giant hell in a cell. People, there were some rumors saying he actually wanted to jump up that, uh, for those who were at WrestleMania, or for those who actually maybe saw it, watching it, that giant screen, it does not do it justice by looking at it. You have to be there. It's fucking huge. Uh, but, uh, for WrestleMania at that time, they wanted Shane to jump off of that. But, that didn't happen. And the reason that I'm talking about this is because all of that led to Shane running Raw and making a number one contenders, contenders match, which I was going to talk about last week, but I just needed a week to just recover, because that, that whole week's fucking crazy. Uh, but, because of that, AJ Styles became the number one contender. He retained it successfully against Sami Zayn uh, last night. If Sami won, it would have been a freeway. But that didn't happen, so it is now officially Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. And by the way, uh, speaking of Roman, uh, they booed the hell out of him, regardless of how WWE wants to edit out the crowd, which I know they did for a fact. Oh, excuse me, they edited out the crowd, so it wasn't as much booze. Barely anyone was cheering for him, which was fucking great. 101,000 people. By the way, 100,000, 101,000 people. Uh, people are already saying, oh, it's 90,000, or 88,000, or 80,000, but whatever. Until you prove it, it's 101,000, broke the record. It's just a fucking moment that will never be forgotten. But, uh, with all of that in mind, Roman Reigns successfully beat Triple H at WrestleMania for the title, and AJ Styles is now in the way, which is interesting, especially with what happened last night on Raw, because of the debuting Luke Gallows, well, the returning in Gallows' case, but the debuting team of Gallows and Carl Anderson. Uh, the Bullet Club slowly but surely is starting to come to the, the WWE, and it's very interesting to see what will happen. Uh, if, if anything, I'm more surprised to why they didn't have them debut uh, attacking Sami Zayn instead of the Usos, but, you know, either way it works. But... Here's something that could happen here. We could have Roman Reigns lose the title at payback due to the interference of Gallows and, and uh, Anderson. That could be a factor there. Or we could see the whole Balor Club angle. With the Balor Club make, has AJ join and then they debut at payback and then they help AJ win. I honestly don't know if they're going to do that. That's a possibility. But unfortunately... I feel like they're going to have him be used as as an as, as, but I can't talk today as an example for Roman Reigns uh, to be this strong dominant champion, to be somebody, and uh, I I wouldn't be surprised if they had Roman go over on this one, but uh, you know my my heart says AJ Styles. But my mind says they're going to have uh, Reigns win this one. And speaking of returns, we had the returning Cesaro, who was also in the number one contenders match uh, last week. But he is now the number one contender after defeating Kevin Owens last night. I guess the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz. And the returning Maurice will be in the corner of The Miz. For those who don't know, obviously you do now, but... For those who didn't, are still under a rock. Maurice and The Miz have been married for a while now. And uh, just the chemistry of them 
on television is amazing. And at WrestleMania, Ryder won the Intercontinental title, but lost it with uh, next night on Raw with the help of Maurice. And uh, it, it was it was interesting to see Maurice come back because there's always been that talk of her coming back, but it hasn't happened till now, which is great. And uh, people are saying, oh, she's, she's going to be on Total Divas or Total Women, whatever they're going to call it because of the women's title, which is, we'll get to that when they actually have the women's title on Payback. Uh, but they're saying, they're saying she might be on Total Divas, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, this can go either way, honestly. This match... Much like the last one, go either way. I would rather have Cesaro win this match, win the belt, but uh, Maurice as the the mouthpiece of the Miz is very interesting to me. Where the Miz really doesn't need like a mouthpiece, but Maurice has done such a great job as a valet. The lost art of the valet has been gone for a while, ever since maybe the days of Liz and Macho or or Baby Doll and Tully Blanchard. Uh, or even maybe more recent than that, actually. But uh, even though, you just haven't seen it often. So, again, my heart says Cesaro, but my mind says they're going to have the Miz because he just won the belt. But you never know because he, uh, Ryder won the belt at Mania and he lost it the next night. So you never know what's going to happen here. But Payback is 19 days away. And before we go, I do want to say one thing. It's about time they did this because payback, it should make sense that WrestleMania should follow payback. Like, payback should follow WrestleMania instead of Extreme Rules. That was just dumb. Because, much like Backlash, payback sounds a lot better. 